Hello, kitty. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. Happy New Year. As you could tell, or here, I am not in my normal vlogging place. I'm not even in Canada right now. I am in the Philippines. Very exciting. The whole way here was just another kind of travel, to be honest. Like, our flight was supposed to be on the 24th, so we would have gotten here by Christmas Day. But then a snowstorm happened in Canada, so our flight got delayed a week after. So we basically flew on New Year's Eve, and we got here on New Year's Day. Um, and so all the celebration basically already happened, but that's okay. Here I am, just relaxing and not really doing much honestly i tried editing for a bit and like these vlogs are back from may of 2021 2022 oh my gosh it was 2022 last year why do i keep thinking it's 2022 this year it's 2023 i just wanted to do an intro to 2023 and not just randomly post another vlog from last year i think 2022 was such an interesting hard but fun and rewarding year for me. Honestly, I started off January probably feeling like a little bit weird, a little bit like heartbroken. That was the whole season of my life, guys. If you know, you know. I think the beginning of 2022 was just so hard on me, like mentally, um, emotionally, like all these things. But then things started to pick up as we hit mid-year, so. Thank you, Jesus. I just wanted to let you guys know the five takeaway lessons I've learned in 2022, and hopefully this can help someone out in their 2023 this year. So let's get started. So the first takeaway lesson I got from 2022 is, is to be kind, especially to yourself. I feel like Sometimes we're just a bit hard on ourselves and it can kind of set us up for failure, disaster, for chaos, but you can be kind to everyone else. But if you're not kind to yourself, you are going to put yourself in a bad place, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. So it's important to be kind to yourself. And honestly, being kind to yourself can really just be doing the very simple tasks in life. like. One, taking a shower, self-care, doing your skincare, reading books, going out, taking a walk, going to the gym, you know, be kind to yourself by taking care of yourself. And essentially no one can do it for you but you. So this is a reminder to be kind to yourself. You deserve that the most. Second takeaway lesson I've learned from 2022 is to enjoy your healing season. Oh, I said it. I said what I said. It takes a lot to mentally put yourself in a state where I'm going to get better. I choose to get better. And again, no one can do that for you except you. Your healing season is not linear. There are days in my own healing season where I literally thought I was better, I was okay to see people, or I was okay to go back to my regular routine, but then, you know, just one little thing set me back 10 steps, and I was like, I thought I got it. And the one thing that really carried me through in my healing season was really spending time with the Lord. It was my safe place, it was my safe haven, and no matter how many times I tried to do things on my own, like, you know, dress well, you know, put on nice makeup for myself, go to the gym, read books, those things couldn't necessarily heal me, but it was more of me spending time with the Lord and being assured in who the Lord called me to be and that my identity is in Him and that He who created me can make me whole again. So praise the Lord for <laughs> those moments. So enjoy your healing season. Sometimes it may take you know a few months, a few weeks, maybe for someone a few days. Um, for me it took probably half a year and it was really just being certain in who I am in the Lord. So. Thank the Lord for that. My third one 
from 2022 would be not everyone is for you not everyone is for you bessie let me say that again not everyone is for you and that's okay i realize that no matter how kind you are to everyone no matter or how nice you are or you know the things you do for people or no matter even how well you get along with people not everyone is for you and that's okay i've learned to not force myself in people's lives because it's just not worth my energy and my time i'm not going to set myself up for heartache or for heartbreak if people don't want me in their lives and that's okay when i realized that not everyone is for me it kind of just humbled me because again um you know in my calling i have to be a people person whether i like it or not like i learned to be an extrovert if you guys didn't know me i was a huge introvert but when the lord called me <laughs> i really had to get out of my comfort zone and learn to be an extrovert and be a people's person and so being a people's person people may not like you and that is okay i've learned that the hard way and i learned to accept that no matter how secure i am in the lord not everyone will like me i think a lot of people will always find something to say about you and it's up to us how we want to take it whether we let you know a few people that are saying a few bad things about us um, and make that ruin our whole day our whole life but i've learned to just look past that because not everyone knows you the way that your close friends do the way that your family knows you the way that the lord knows you so who cares who cares what the haters say and to all the haters out there hi not everyone's for you so bestie it's okay girl it's okay fourth takeaway lesson i've learned is don't just set goals but actually achieve them i started reading this book called atomic habits which was given to me by ari thank you very much ari love you i think that book really just changed my outlook in life and how i approach things especially like my habits my goals and so we have so many plans so many visions but we just don't take the action to do them because it could be overwhelming it could be a lot taught me to just take it take it easy take it step by step one of my big goals last year was to start going to the gym more frequently girl bestie let me tell you how hard that was to actually commit going to the gym something happened in september where i was like i am not having this so my entire mindset just changed and i started going to the gym started going to the gym probably three to four times a week and kind of fell off the wagon um when the holidays started to kick in just because you know life got really busy so i just didn't have time to go to the gym this 2023 i actually want to commit having a consistent gym routine i don't know if i want to be a morning gym girly or an after work gym girly but i guess we will see where that will go But not the least the last takeaway lesson i've learned from 2022 is life is better with community i'm so blessed because in 2022 i didn't just hang out with the people i normally hang out with but i got to expand my horizon a little bit with community i guess the lord just placed me in different environments where i had to expand my community and i don't regret it i'm not upset about it because i think i've just loved learning things from different people outside of like my regular group of friends who i still love honestly in those times of 2022 i've gotten close to many people sometimes even i got distant with some people and that's okay too i think just uh 2022 just a lot of life lessons a lot of growing a lot of personal growth and i am very excited to see where 2023 takes us I don't know where we'll go, but I know that he who calls us to it is faithful to bring us through it. So happy new year guys, happy 2023. I hope you have a great year. I hope you have a blessed year. And this year, we're only going up from here. Stay favored, stay blessed, and see you in the next. Okay guys.